There's one reason you're failing. One. And it is so incredibly simple. It's so incredibly obvious. But you refuse to take action. If we've not been before, my name is Craft. I host this show. It's called Coffee with Craft. I help creators find the fastest path to revenue. And today, I want to break down this idea of why you are failing and you're not earning money. And it really is simple. You're not trying. That's really what it comes down to. You're not willing to put in the effort to get to where you want to be. It is now easier, more than ever, to earn money online. It just is, right? Like it is literally easy. There are plenty of partner programs if you want to build an audience and earn money that way. Twitter lets you monetize your audience now. Uh, if you want to go the route of not monetizing your audience, you can literally find stuff in your closet, pull it out, sell it, right? Like there are infinite ways to make money online and to earn income as a creator. There just are. The fact of the matter is you don't want it hard enough. Or you don't have the knowledge to get there, right? So like that's that that's the real like solution to the answer. Like either A, you're not willing to work for it, or B, you don't have the knowledge. So either admit you don't have the knowledge and get help, or B, start to put in the work. But I don't think it's a knowledge issue for a lot of people. I think honestly, for a lot of people, it's a work issue. I got this DM that actually made me hot. And it's the reason I'm coming in a little aggressive today on the video. I got this DM saying, hey, man, can you just give me some work? And it ticked me off because I went and I looked at this bro's page. No portfolio, no real, no idea that he can even do video editing work. And he has the audacity to come to me, someone he's never talked to before and say, hey, can you just give me the jobs you're doing? What? Why would I why would I give you my jobs and bring you monetary value in that aspect when you a have not brought me any value, B haven't shown that you can even do the task and C I don't even know who you are. You're coming in cold with an ask and it feels like really door-to-door -door salesman-y, but it's not even just like you know, hey, like, let me pitch you a product or service. It's like, knock, 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 give me your money. And it's like, dude, that's just not cool, right? Like, that's not how you do hard work. That's not how you get clients. That's not how you find leads. If you want to succeed in this business, if you want to earn money, you have to be willing to do the work. And part of doing the work means falling flat on your face and sometimes falling flat on your face for a few years. Y'all, I've been creating online since 2018. It's only recently that I've started to like feel real momentum in the online space. It's only recently that I've figured out how to really monetize my audience and earn money and be like, oh, hey, I pulled in 150 bucks today without trying. That's awesome, right? Like that like is just recently happening for me. It's not like it's something that is happening because uh, I'm just, you know, throwing stuff in the wind or sending really credit cold DMs. No, it's happening now because I put in time and I put in effort. But too many of you, right, like too many new creators aren't wanting to put in the time and aren't wanting to put in the effort. You're just wanting to find the free win, find the easy win. And don't get me wrong, there are some easy wins that you need when you're first starting out in the creator space, right? Like, like finding those easy wins are important to help you build momentum, but you need to go about those easy wins in a way that is ethical, in a way that is smart, and in a way that does not come across as like, uh, pick me vibes, right? Like, don't be like a pick me vibe kind of person. Like, be a person who is seeking to inherently bring value into any conversation that you're a part of. If you're just hollering into people's DMs, hoping someone's going to give you work and you're not providing any real value, dude, you're going to lose. You're going to lose every time. But if you're providing value, if people get to know you, if you're showing what you can do, then hey, guess what? People will hire you. People will hire you if you show what you can do, but not if you're just doing a pick me vibe. Not if you're just doing a pick me vibe. And here's also the deal. It's going to take some time before people hire you. That's OK. Right. That's OK. Get used to rejection. Get used to rejection in this space. It's part of being an entrepreneur. It's part of being a freelancer. You have to be used to rejection. You have to be used to people telling you no because they're going to. 
They're going to a lot. I went to college. Uh, I went to a place called Bible College. And in Bible College, everyone, the joke is you walk out with a wife. Right? Like, that's the joke. Because girls there are there to get their MRS degree. And here's the deal. I went to Bible College, and not for lack of trying, I walked out without a wife. I got really good at facing rejection. It took a long time, right, to get really good at facing rejection, but I fell on my face a lot. And it wasn't until years after Bible college, almost five years after Bible college, six years, that I met my wife and I got married, right? But to get to that point, I had to go through a lot of rejection, right? To get to where I am now, I had to go through a lot of like hurt and pain and kind of struggle and and do some work on myself and figure out what traits that I had that honestly weren't good, right? Like you have to work through some of that stuff. It's the same idea as we're approaching building a business or we're approaching trying to find clients. You can't just find clients by being a pick me, bro. No, you got to find clients by bringing value. Make yourself so irresistibly attractive that people just want to be with you. If you do that, you will succeed. You will thrive. But so many of you aren't doing that. So many of you aren't making yourselves look attractive. So many of you aren't putting in the reps. You're just out here wondering why I'm not getting any hits. And here's the deal. If that's you, dude, put in some flipping work. But if you are putting in the work, kudos to you. You're doing something not a lot of people are doing. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. It's not unnoticed. And two, Get used to falling on your face. It's going to take some time. Half of entrepreneurship is throwing like stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. It's like cooking spaghetti. You got to take the spaghetti out of the pot at some point, throw it against the wall and see if it's actually done. And if it sticks, it's done, right? That's part of being an entrepreneur. It's part of being a freelancer. It's like just, man, I'm going to grab this glop of spaghetti, throw it at the wall. And if it sticks, awesome. And if it doesn't, it's time to keep cooking, right? Like it's just all part of it. So if you're working and you're working hard, keep going. Evaluate what's not working. Ask yourself why it's not working. Ask the hard questions. Invoke self-awareness. But don't give up working. And if you're not yet working, dude, you're whack. And I'll never give you free work.